Welcome in to Let's Be Honest. I'm your host, Kristen Cavallari, and oh my God, do I have a good episode for you guys today. So Justin was over. <laughs> Justin Anderson is back because he was just over. I just got back from LA two days ago. We were shooting the shit, and I said, you know what? I'm about to film a podcast about my first 72 hours in LA, and I think that you need to be here for this. So, <laughs> and I said, absolutely, no problem. <laughs> no, I don't no. have any plans today. They're all done. <laughs> I'm gonna clear the calendar. <laughs> clear my schedule's good. I'm staying. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I was just in LA for a week, but the first 72 hours were so fucking jam packed and so much shit went down that that's what this episode's gonna be about. So to kick this off, and I, I'm here to make sure that you uh, stay honest, keep all the details in, and I'm an adamant. You might ask me to leave, actually. <laughs> well, I regret this decision. Well, I'm still getting used to being really open about what's really going on because this is new for me to be just like very vulnerable and very honest about every little thing. But I said this morning, we said right before we decided to do this, that we're going to just go there and say everything that happened. Well, when you were telling me about the three day, when you were telling me about the trip, I was like, literally saying, I was like, you have to explain it in the right way because the thing about this, and we were talking to this whole thing. I mean, we were texting all day long. You yeah. were telling me all these things and I was egging you on and all this stuff. So we're talking about today. It's like, again, I'm like, no one would believe that all of this happened in that short period of time. I'm like, you have have to really tell all of it so I'm like I'm sitting in <laughs> just when this was all going down you literally said to me you go this doesn't happen to, to people. anyone <laughs> and it's like it really doesn't to no. anyone the amount of stuff that happens in 24 hours with you in LA <laughs> I'm like what is going on <laughs> okay so here's what happens so I go a Friday okay a Friday this is like a week and a half ago I land I go straight in hair and makeup I do a podcast episode with Dr. Sherry Campbell who you guys are gonna absolutely love it was all about narcissists so that was great are Boom. you healed I'm healed now. <laughs> That's amazing what Woo! 45 minutes can do. So then, okay, there's a crew. My little my little LA squad of girls, there's four of us. There's me, obviously, my friend Brittany, who I went to high school with, my friend Charlene, who just had a baby, and my friend Chelsea. So Brittany and I graduated high school, moved up to LA, and we met Chelsea and Charlene immediately in Malibu when I was dating Brody. So we've all been friends for almost like 20 years, okay? And so Charlene just had her baby. So all of us girls meet at Char's The greatest house. group of girls, too, because they all yeah. are so different, but they <laughs> work so well together. And you've been together forever. Like, your yes. guys' history is insane. Yes. And, like, that's the thing. Those are the friends where there's never any judgment. Like, we can be our craziest, wildest self. And it's just like, yes. Like and we not just... seeing them for a while, you jump yes. right back into the friendship. Yes. So like, there's no, like, how have you been? <laughs> yeah. It's like, no small talk. Like, we just <laughs> go in. So we go to Char's house, meet baby Elle, who's the cutest thing ever. And then we go to girls dinner okay we're at pache like one of my favorite restaurants in la and Brittany pulls up her raya and actually let me back up because justin had been saying for a few weeks that yeah. you think i should join raya yes i do i've been saying it for a really long time and kristen's so like i i don't want to do that i can't do it thinking about judgment i'm like we're in a time now where everyone tries dating online and also you live on a fucking compound out in the middle of nowhere yeah, you're not, not meeting anyone, anyone not meeting at anyone. all i know i know so so that's kind of in the back of my head, the conversations that we've been having. And then Brittany pulls up her Raya and she shows me a Raya profile of the hottest fucking man I've ever seen. I think we refer to him as like the hottest fucking man. <laughs> <laughs> like my future husband. No, I'm just kidding. He's gorgeous. Like when she sent the pictures. So I, I know you're not supposed to do this, but I'm taking photos of him on Britney's ride. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. I was. I don't fucking care. I took two photos. I was like, you have no account now. <laughs> they, they delete me. <laughs> But you guys, I was like, I have to join Raya. Like, I have to find this guy. I was like, if this is the caliber of men that are on Raya. They're really good looking on there. I, I have no I was, idea. Because I was also telling you, I was like, very big celebrity clients of mine would sit in the chair and show me their Raya stuff. Like, these women, like, big celebrity clients. And they would show me, and I would look at these guys. I love it. The swiping so is fun. so it's fun. It's so fun. And they are. And I feel like Raya has a way of setting certain people up with the right people. It's like, it makes sense. It does because, well, I Like, are they setting? hot people with hot people that's really bad if they're doing that but i think they are but, no they 100 percent are no they are and, like, similar industries and stuff yeah okay i want to do another episode about my raya journey because that's also a whole thing okay, but okay so let's well 
we'll table that. <laughs> okay, so I'm like, I have to join Raya. So literally, while we're at dinner, I'm submitting my application on Raya. I'm like, I'm finding this man. Which is how you work. I mean, everything's at, immediate. Immediate. <laughs> I'm like, done. Fine, I'm joining. Okay, all right. So table that, guys, okay? All right, so now we go out. We go to Delilah, which is like a really cool lounge in LA. Have you been there? I feel like you would, you would oh, like yes, it. Oh, yes, I love they have the best chicken fingers in the world. I didn't eat chicken fingers that night, but I love that you know that. <laughs> I had one mission and one you. mission only. <laughs> Men. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> All right, so we walk into Delilah and we belly on the- sexy, no, by it's the way. Very, it's cool. It's very cool. It's like if you go to LA and you want to go to like a cool lounge, that's the place to go. So we go to the bar. And from across the way, I see the hottest fucking guy. Have I told you this part? I maybe didn't tell you this. No, you kind of, you started to this morning before we decided okay. to have me sit in. Okay, so I see the hottest guy, and I'm like, holy shit. I'm like looking at him. He's looking at me. Okay, then we, us <laughs> girls, finally go to our table. And I decide to send this guy a shot because I have never made the first move in my life, but I'm like, what the fuck do I have to lose? I'll send this guy a shot, right? Send him a shot. You guys have to remember, I lived in L.A. for a long time. Us girls know, like, everybody. So we've got all of our guy friends that we haven't seen in a long time that we're saying hi to. So hot guy. I'm honestly going to call him David Beckham because he looked like David Beckham. Oh, my God. And you're so it. on Beckham right I'm now. I'm on such a Beckham <laughs> you're on kick. such a Beckham kick. He had, like, the long hair, and he was wearing a hat. And I was like, this is my David Beckham. I love this man. So we'll call him David. Okay, so his friend comes over, and he goes, hey, um, he wants to come over, but you guys have all these dudes at your table. Because you had just sent him the shot. I just sent him a shot, but we're like, we have all these guys at our table. So I was like, oh, no, no, we've known these guys forever. I was like, we'll come over in a little bit. Okay, great. Charlene goes home because she has a new baby. Brittany goes home because she's dating a guy. So now it's just Chelsea and I, okay? <laughs> Chelsea and I <laughs> walk up to this table of men and just sit down. And this is David's table, okay? And we're having so much fun. These guys are great. David's great, but I'm kind of like, meh, you know, this was fun, blah, blah, blah. Wasn't what you were hoping. No. So Chelsea and I are like, let's go dance. So we get up and we start dancing. Next thing you know, we are flanked by the Australian rugby team. This is my favorite part. <laughs> like, this is so hot. You guys, it is Chelsea and I, and now just like men all around because us. Because you manifest, I mean, I know rugby is not football, but it's like you manifested that athlete moment. <laughs> <laughs> you do this to yourself, I and do. then it happens. And then it happens, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this happening to me? Get away, ew. <laughs> girl handler i don't even know what the fuck is going on i don't know who this girl is maybe like she's a, like like maybe she's like the team's publicist or something right she's like clearly in charge of like wrangling all the men or she's like <clears throat> heidi feist like she's finding women she's very, for them. by Ew, the way that's so creepy could be the case yeah. because she was the one who was like we have a bus and we're gonna go to bootsy bellows so like that's another her club. role okay Ew, like LA's the so girls. gross la really is they gross. hired her when they got to la by for- the way i'm all, i was all in on it <laughs> I am never the victim. So she's like, she's like, we're going to Bootsy Bellows on this bus. Why don't you guys come? We're like, okay, yeah. Chelsea and I walk on this bus with all these dudes and we're like, woo! Yeah! I did not realize that you got on the bus. You left that yes. out when you told me about it. Yes, we, we were all in. So now we're at Bootsy Bellows, which you is like- You could have been kidnapped. No, nah, man, I knew. I've got a good gut instinct. Yeah, you're, you're good with your tuition. <laughs> She's got a great intuition. Great intuition when it comes to men. Not really. <laughs> so we get to Bootsy Bellows and we're like at a table having so much fun. I've got my eyes on this one guy, right? Because he was- In, the, That's part of the rugby group. Part of the you rugby team. You didn't find team. a new guy there. No, right? no, no. <laughs> You're all, thanks for the ride. <laughs> oh my God. You just didn't want to pay for an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's so funny. Okay. So this guy and I, let's call him, let's call him Kyle. Oh, that's a good name for him. Kyle or Chad. He's kind of, definitely a Kyle or a Chad, which is 100% hot, by the way. By the way. <laughs> okay, so Kyle and I are kind of sneaking off, going to the side to make out so no one oh, can see so us. so fun. Like, so fun. I love making out, by the way. You love, well, we've talked about that all the time. I mean, I haven't got to do it in 10 years, but it's like the best thing in the world, oh, making out with a stranger, nothing better. And we were like in the corner so like no one could see us, like just like so hot, okay? So he's like, he's like, come home with me and i'm like there's no fucking way i'm going home with you i'm like and no. where is home by the way like in the bunk bag <laughs> like, the, like where one, are they the one hotel <laughs> oh they're staying at the one they're staying at the one is kind of cute yeah, yeah, yeah. i can get down with that but i'm like no i'm a lady right okay <laughs> 
Does anyone else feel like summer is just the busiest time? Once the kids are back to school, you finally actually get some breathing room and time for yourself. So this fall, why not use that time to try STIR, the new dating app built just for single parents. STIR is the number one dating app designed for single parents, a place where you can leave the kids at home, but you don't have to leave them out of the conversation. On STIR, they know that for single parents, time is precious, limited, and unpredictable. That's why they built an app for meaningful connections with someone who not only gets your life, but lives it themselves. Where there just might be a reason to want more sleepless nights, it's just about finding the right one. And the best part is it's free. So you guys, you literally have nothing to lose. And I love that they have stir time, which helps you guys coordinate schedules, which we all know as parents can be one of the most challenging things. On Stir, they know that nothing comes before your kids, but a lot of great things can happen after. After snack time, homework time, bedtime, screen time, let it be your time on Stir. So this fall, make the time for yourself on Stir. Stir is the dating app where single parents pair up. Go to stir.com slash go today to get 25% off any Stir subscription package or send it to your single friends to try out. That's stir.com slash go. Let's chat about Nutrafol. Did you guys know that hair thinning will happen to approximately one in two women? If you're among them, no, you're not alone. Thinning is normal and Nutrafol helps women address it from within with science-backed supplements. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement clinically shown to improve visible thickness and strength. Go to Nutrafol.com to take their hair health wellness quiz. Identify causes of your thinning hair and Nutrafol will give you a personalized plan for better hair growth. Nutrafol supports healthy hair growth from within by targeting root causes of thinning, which could be stress, hormones, environment, nutrition, lifestyle, and metabolism through whole body health. Nutrafol is now available in a vegan formula. Their newest supplement is formulated for women ages 18 and up with plant-based lifestyles who are experiencing signs of hair thinning. In a clinical study, 86% of women reported improved hair growth after taking Nutrafol women's hair growth supplement for six months. You guys, take the first step to visibly thicker, healthier hair. For a limited time, Nutrafol is offering my listeners $10 off your first month subscription and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol.com and enter the promo code HONEST. Find out why over 4,000 healthcare professionals recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair. Nutrafol.com spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com promo code HONEST. That's Nutrafol.com promo code honest. All right, let's talk about Cygnos. Did you guys know that the CDC estimates that there are approximately 96 million American adults, which is more than one in three, who have prediabetes? Of those with prediabetes, more than 80% don't even know that they have it. So why does this matter? Well, foods high in carbohydrates raise blood sugar more than any other food. During digestion, the pancreas produces insulin, which then binds the sugar in the blood and takes it into cells as a source of energy. If you have prediabetes, sugar begins to build up in the bloodstream rather than fuel the cells. This is when insulin resistance occurs, which is believed to be the number one cause of prediabetes. A healthy weight allows insulin to work more efficiently and can help to keep blood sugars within a normal range. A healthy diet and regular exercise are the best ways to help bring your blood sugar levels back to a healthy range. Cygnos can help you short circuit this cycle by using data directly from your body to design a weight loss plan that's unique to your lifestyle. Cygnos is the only company that combines a CGM, which is continuous glucose monitor, with an AI-driven app to deliver real time glucose monitoring for optimal health and weight management. With Cygnos, you can literally see which foods cause your blood sugar to spike above reasonable levels and get real-time alerts to do a bit of exercise to bring them back down. Cygnos removes the guesswork of weight loss and provides users with the tools and knowledge needed to develop healthier habits. It combines your glucose data from the CGM or continuous glucose monitor with an AI-driven app to deliver 
real-time glucose insights for optimal health and weight management. Right now, Cygnos has an offer exclusively for my listeners. Go to Cygnos.com, that's S-I-G-N-O-S.com, and get up to 15% off by using code HONEST today. That's Cygnos.com and use code HONEST to get up to 15% off your order today. Next thing I know, because now it gets a little blurry. I'm like, not did gonna he lie. immediately want to leave, or he, you had been partying? No, no, we've for been a while. hanging out for a oh, while, okay. but I think it, like the club was like closing. Oh. <laughs> like, it's time to go. Channel Mary style. <laughs> You're always there with the lights. Always. Come up. By the way, so Chelsea and I are now at my place. I think it's 3 a.m. You guys, we don't oh go to bed. God. No, Chelsea and I don't go to bed. What do we do? We invite Kyle over. <laughs> oh my god. Because by the way, I don't even remember giving my number to Kyle, but I think he got it from the handler, like the Heidi Fleiss of right. the rugby okay, team. Okay, okay, okay. So now. Now he's texting me on WhatsApp, by the I'm way. really right now learning the timing okay. of all of this because okay. I'm like, you are, I mean, I know that you stay up late like that and that's how you work when you go out. When I go in, like I go in. Exactly. But I had no idea. By the way, it. now I've been up for 24 hours because my, <laughs> flight, my flight was like 7 a.m. leaving Nashville. So I woke up at 5 a.m., which is 3 a.m. Pacific time. So now I've been up for 24 hours oh, and my. I'm just like fucking Energizer Bunny, right? If there's men involved, I don't have an off switch. Yeah, when you're flirting... I've seen that firsthand. Yes. It's, there's no stopping no. you. Well, it's the, it starts with the fun. You have so much fun. Your energy freaks me out because like <laughs> I, every time we travel together, you always stay out way later with Scoot. Scoot becomes your yes. chaperone yeah. and Scoot will keep up with you. But like, I cannot believe your energy. It freaks me out. Okay, if, keep there, going. if there's guys around, I can go. <laughs> it says a lot about me. Okay, so now Kyle comes over. And guys, I'm going to keep it real with you. To your place. To my place. With you and Chelsea there. Me and Chelsea. But like, I don't even think the three of us hung out. I think it was like Kyle got there and we went right into my bedroom. And so what did Chelsea <laughs> do? Like make a grilled cheese? <laughs> <laughs> or did she go home? Did she spend the I night? Chelsea was trying to find her phone. She lost her <laughs> Wait, this, this is actually so funny. Wait, so I'll get to that. I'll tell you where Chelsea was. So I had my, the second one night stand of my entire life. And by the way, before you guys want to fucking judge me. No one can judge that. You're allowed well, to. Well, I'm also, I'm almost 37 years old. This is the second one that I've ever had in my entire life. This phase that I'm currently in is my like fun, single, And you've dating. been craving some excitement. <clears throat> like let a girl yes. live. And like we've talked about it. The lack of sex I've had in my life over the last three and a half years is fucking sad. So you know what? Yeah, I had a one night stand. Fucking sue me. And it was so much fun. And I will say this. A guy who cares so much about the girl coming is like, Oh my God, I need to go home. <laughs> like, we love you, okay? We love you. So. And he was very into that. And that very, big body with those oh, arms that can wrap around you those, and make you oh, feel like the little lady that you oh, are. Those rugby thighs. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Oh, so hot. Okay, so then, I'm all, do you want me to walk you out? <laughs> so. We go down. Oh, to the, it was like that. Like it's not like it was uh, transactional. I forgot how it happened. Yeah, <laughs> it was transactional. Not like, he's not gonna spend the night. No, uh, no. I always so, made people spend the night because I'm a cuddler. <laughs> really? Oh, I'm like no, no, go no, away. No, no. So I walk him down to the lobby, and Chelsea's down in the lobby, like <laughs> looking for her phone. I'm like, Chelsea, what are you doing? But Chelsea, get back up uh, upstairs. So did okay. she? Okay, you go. I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so that's that, right? Okay, so Kyle goes home. Great, I go to sleep. Okay, I wake up Saturday. <clears throat> Kyle and everyone's like, come to Nobu in Malibu. We got you a seat. I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm like, the only thing I'll be doing is getting multiple rounds of Postmates today and like going from my door to my bed, my door to my bed. So I'm like, I'm not coming, but like, that's so sweet. But you know, Kyle and I are texting all day. It's like cute. You know, we're like sending each other pictures, but like, it's a lot. It's like a constant text, right? But I'm like hungover in bed. So I'm like, this is so cute. And he starts saying shit like. Wait, are you going to tell the part about how he didn't know who you were and all that? Oh, oh, yeah. Because I think that's the biggest part for me. Because okay, you told you're me right. all this stuff you're in right. real time. And then when you told me that he made the switch to being super you're right. aggressive. Okay, you're right. Because I think that's a good mm. part of the story. No, you're right. This is why you're here. <laughs> so when I met him, he said, a bunch of the guys told me that you were on a TV show. But he didn't know who I was. Great. We love that. 
When and and I will say this, when he left, he sent me a really sweet text. He was like, "You're beyond beautiful." Like that was amazing. Blah blah. blah. Like so super, super. No, like sweet. the initial attraction was there. He <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. knows you're hot. Yes. He was into you. Blah blah blah. But but he had no idea who you no were. No idea who I was. The next day, all of a sudden, there was a shift where it was like, "This guy is coming on so strong." Like wants to marry you. Literally, he was like, how do we make this work? And I was like, we don't. You, you live, live in, in Australia. Australia. <laughs> and he goes, do you want me to change that? And I'm like, no. I'm like, what? It's like, it's starting to be a little batshit, right? Okay, but I'm still like, oh, it's cute, whatever. So <laughs> You're like, why well, keep saying that? <laughs> <laughs> how much do you love me? You respond me? to everything <laughs> immediately. Why does he keep writing back? But by the way, if I didn't respond, he would text me like five times in a row. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was like, okay, so this is trying to get like a little weird, but like whatever. So then what? Oh, I forgot this part. I lied to him and said that I went to Manhattan Beach to go visit Brittany because I didn't want to see him again. Because <clears throat> remember, he wanted to, he wanted to hang out, and I I knew I was just like this is a lot. It's like becoming a lot. So I said change of plans. I went ended up going to Manhattan Beach because then the next day Sunday he was flying. They were all flying to Atlanta to go play in a golf tournament. So I was like perfect. I'll say I'm in Manhattan Beach. <laughs> I think all of my fellow parents can relate when I say that if I had to describe my morning routine in one word, it's chaos. <laughs> if you've got kids and you're trying to pack lunches and get everyone fed and out the door, then you can definitely relate. But thankfully, the stress of breakfast is taken care of with Daily Harvest. Because with Daily Harvest, I'm getting meals that give me that quick nourishing foundation for my whole day. And they're delivered right to my door, which you cannot beat. Daily Harvest keeps keeps my stomach and my freezer full with options like fruit and veg packed smoothies, forager bowls, and lattes. They also have tons of options for any time of day like flatbread, soups, and harvest bowls. I am so obsessed with all of their smoothies. They have a strawberry peach one that's really good. They have their mint one that I love. I'm like such a sucker for mint chocolate anything. And my kids love them too. And what's nice about these is my kids can just grab one and make a smoothie themselves, which parents, you get it with young kids. Like when kids can start doing stuff on their own, you're like, yes, we made it. So this has been huge for that. With Daily Harvest, I get so many easy to prep options. So I don't have to even think about what to cook for my next meal. And I love that I can skip the shopping, chopping and post cooking cleanup. So take the stress out of your mornings with Daily Harvest. Go to dailyharvest.com slash let's be honest to get up to $65 off your first box. That's dailyharvest.com slash let's be honest for up to $65 off your first box. Dailyharvest.com slash let's be honest. Let's chat about clothing brand Loft. You guys, Loft has really cute and trendy pieces. I know because I just got a bunch of them. Like I got a really cool scarf. I got these really cozy pants, some cool outerwear. And the pieces touch on all the season's most relevant trends and are always offered at a great price. There's fun pants silhouettes to choose from, flirty tops, midi skirts, sweater dresses, and fun outerwear, like I was just saying, that's perfect for fall. And new arrivals drop all the time, so you're going to want to be sure to constantly check them out. Loft is introducing Cashmere, which launches on October 19th. They're adding a bit more luxe to their line. It's their kind of soft launch. They'll be offering not only 100% cashmere sweaters in a range of silhouettes and colors, but also matching sets, hats, scarves, and socks. Yes, please. And they're launching gift guides. This holiday season, Loft can be your go-to check everybody off your list destination. Give gifts galore. Both in-store and online, shop a mix of gifts under $35 festive finds, and merry sweaters. Guys, I'm telling you, Loft is back and better than ever with a fall collection of fun, feminine fashion. Let's keep showing up for ourselves and each other wearing what we love. And as a thank you for listening, from now through January 1st, 2024, use code HONEST at loft.com to receive $25 off your full price purchase. Exclusions apply. See podcast description for terms. Well, this is a bit of a weird segue, but have you guys ever bailed on a party because you're so bloated you'd have to wear sweatpants out? Hey, no shame. Listen, Ritual literally created Symbiotic Plus with that weird gut stuff in mind. It contains clinically studied prebiotics, probiotics, and postbiotic to support a balanced gut microbiome. 
I am all about gut health. I don't know if you guys have heard, but it's commonly referred to as your second brain because it really is in charge of basically every function in your body. So I am all about a probiotic and one that can really help with bloating and just make you feel really great, which is why I love Ritual so much and their Symbiotic Plus. It's a daily three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic with two of the world's most clinically studied probiotic strains to support the relief of mid and occasional bloating, gas, and diarrhea. Why include a postbiotic? Well, it provides fuel to the cells that make up the gut lining and supports a healthier gut barrier. So that's a win-win. Delayed release capsule designed to help survive the harsh conditions of the upper GI tract for delivery to the colon, an ideal place for probiotics to grow and thrive. Symbiotic Plus and Ritual are here to celebrate, not hide, your insides. There's no more shame in your gut game. That's why Ritual is offering my listeners 30% off during your first month. Visit ritual.com slash be honest to start Ritual or add Symbiotic Plus to your subscription today. Okay, so that's Saturday. Saturday, you know, pretty un- uneventful. But then, okay, Sunday. Sunday, I had agreed to go meet someone that I had dated for coffee. Actually, oh my gosh, actually, you guys, just wait for this. Well, actually, let me back up. Saturday, <laughs> when I'm making plans with X, we'll just call him X. It's a good name for him. <laughs> <laughs> Great name for him. Because he's X now. Forever, <laughs> for, I hope. For fucking ever. So he's like... Well, he, he's like, I want to see you. I can't believe you're in town for a week. Like, we have to see each other. Reluctantly, I'm going to be honest. I was like, all right, I'll get coffee with you. I'm like, how's Sunday morning? He's like, great. Where are you coming from? I said, I just got a new place in Beverly Hills, but, I, but I'll meet you anywhere because I'm a fucking dumbass. <clears throat> and I said, I'll meet you anywhere thinking he would still come to me, right? This guy's been trying to hang out for like or two years. Or at least come close to Halfway. You. Or say, can I pick you up? Half, or- even halfway, right? Yeah. Well, he sends me an address for Burbank, and I'm like, which that's, is where he, uh, that's where he lives. where he lives. Yeah, which is like fucking forty minutes from me. So I'm like, oh god, like that should have been red flag number one. Like, don't. Why go. didn't you say no at that point? Because I'm too fucking nice. You're not too nice. That's not it. You just were like, whatever, I'll go. I get, because I would be like, Burbank, suck a dick. I'll see you in West Hollywood. I or like, know. I I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. don't know. Honestly, I was just and I was so mad. Remember, I like. I think I sent you a voice note on the way there Sunday morning being like, I don't even want to fucking go. I'm driving to Burbank right now. Anyways, okay. I I text him when I'm two minutes away. This is Sunday now at like, you know, 8.55. And I'm like, hey, I'm two minutes away. <clears throat> no response. Okay. We get to the coffee shop. I call him. 9 a.m. I'm all, hey, I'm here. And but I think that we should explain to everyone, this is an ex from the past three years, like since yes. you've been newly single. It's not like an ex from your 20s. Yes. And before you saw him, I was kind of, <clears throat> I liked this guy, by the way. We yeah. all had so much fun together. It was a great person right after your divorce. Such a fun guy. Yes. But it was one of those things, like so much time had passed. I was like, Kristen, why are you going? Like, what, what is the point of this? Like, why stir this up again? I know. And you were just kind of, <clears throat> I still to this point don't know why you were going. I'll tell you why because I'm I don't I don't know because I felt I think you've bad. been to LA and it's just like everything's fun like I'll do anything. yeah yeah I'm just like yeah fuck it I'll meet him for coffee I'll drive to Whatever. Burbank and have a coffee <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> oh well honestly I'm kind of glad I did because now I have the best fucking story okay so I call him at 9 a.m. and I'm like hey I'm here he answers like all disheveled like oh my god my alarm didn't go off I'm coming I'm coming no yes. my alarm didn't go my off. my alarm didn't go off and first I'm, of all it's nine o'clock and you're an adult He's 40 years old. And you're going to meet coffee with a woman that you want to be with so bad. Yeah. I would be there one hour early (laughs) and like clean the coffee shop for them. (laughs) I'd set set up the environment. Like, oh my God. Okay, keep going. Okay. So then he texts me and he goes, I'll be there in 20 minutes. So I'm like, I So you're sitting by yourself in Burbank waiting for someone that you don't necessarily want to see. Yeah. And they're dying to see you. Yes. Yes. That's where I'm just like. People need to get it the fuck It's together. unbelievable. Okay, so I'm like, fuck you, I hate you. But all right, I'm waiting because I'm a fucking dipshit. So 20 minutes goes by and he walks in, okay? And he's like a little like, ugh. And he's like, oh my God, sorry. I was up until 5.30 at Friends Over. We were drinking all night. Just wait, you guys. Just wait for this story. But already I'm like, okay, you're up till 5.30 and we're meeting for coffee at 9 a.m.? Like, a little aggressive. So I go, are you still drunk? Like, reeked of alcohol, like the whole thing, oh, right? that's <clears> such a turn off. And he was like, 
Meanwhile, you're the same. <laughs> I'm all me too. But <laughs> well, this was like a clearer head morning now, right? Yeah, I was sober at this point. <laughs> that was my Saturday morning. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm judging him when the day before I'm like doing the exact same thing. <laughs> I wasn't driving going to coffee though. So I'm like, so I'm like, are you still drunk? And he's like, yeah, kind of. I'm like, whatever. Okay, fine. But I will say this. I was like, damn, he is hot. Because he is hot. Like no, in person, he's him, really he's hot. hot. And he's so fun. He's so easy to be yeah, around. Like I sweet. get the connection. Yeah. Like he is a great guy. But okay, so we order our coffee. And now we're standing there waiting for our coffee. Just kind of shooting the shit. All of a sudden, a police officer walks in. And he comes up to us and he goes, did you guys drive here? And I go, yeah. And he goes, do you guys drive together? By the way, like not saying anything. So I'm standing there like, no, we didn't drive together. Okay. So he pulls out of the coffee shop. By the way, it's all windows. So everyone in the coffee shop, plus me. So you're me, sitting at it. You're, you're, we're, we're standing waiting for our coffee. We haven't even sat yet. Oh we're like gosh. standing up. Okay. So they pull him out and then I can see the cop patting him down. Next thing you know, the handcuffs go on. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I go outside. As I walk outside, two more cops pull up. Now there's three police officers. We're standing on like the busiest street in Burbank, okay? And oh fucking my gosh. handcuffed. Okay. So the only thing is saying is that, because they're asking him questions and he's like not wanting to answer stuff, but he's like, well, now I'm embarrassed because, you know, she's here watching all of this, like all this shit, right? So they put him in the back of the cop car now. And I'm going, what is going You're on? You're watching someone get arrested. Literally. Literally get arrested. And by the way. Like, the this isn't normal no. in any. I, like, I would start crying. <laughs> Sunday at 930 in the morning. And by the way, the entire coffee shop is watching this go on. Okay. So I go, can you guys tell me what is going on? And one of the police officers goes, there was a report of a hit and run down the street. And he matches the description of the guy. So I'm going, what? <sighs> a hit and run? I'm like, oh my God. So he hit and run, he hit and ran, and then he came to the coffee shop and pretended nothing happened. Nonchalant. That is walked so in. crazy. Just walked in like another day. Like, what? So they he's in the back of the cop car now. So I go, I'm gonna leave. I said, Can I just say goodbye to him? They rolled down the window like an inch. I go, I'm leaving. And he goes, bye. But still like this is just like not a, like I'm mortified. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so sorry, Kristen. No. Like this is normal. <laughs> this is just another like, day. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Yeah. All right, I'll catch up later. <laughs> Grab me a latte. <laughs> oh my god, oh, you guys literally so I fucking book it. I'm like, I'm getting out of here. Now I'm voice noting you, I'm voice noting the girls. I'm like, holy shit. And everyone is like, well, he's gonna be in jail all night. And when you tell me this story, in my mind, it's so crazy. I'm like, what the hell? Blah blah, whatever. But I'm thinking like a little like bumper like you, he like tapped yeah. someone right so i'm yeah. thinking like oh like he tapped someone someone reported it the cops came and found him so we're thinking it's really some, something pretty simple, benign which especially is still with how weird. he's behaving exactly why wouldn't you walk in like holy crap i just like bumped into a car i'm gonna go write a note after this like that should be like your lead in like talk about that <laughs> also he could blame that on why you're late hello i just I hit a car know. i hit a I car can't. i'm so sorry i can't he says none of this so like that's a liar that's a scary that's liar that shit behavior <laughs> okay so everyone's like well you're not gonna hear from him for like a day these they're gonna keep him in jail so i'm like damn i'm not gonna know the full story for a long time but okay great that's my sunday morning so uh back to kyle okay my aussie so we're still texting and it's getting like it's i'm starting to be like this guy is fucking nuts right literally if i wouldn't respond right away i would come back to my phone and have missed calls missed facetimes a million text messages i'm like can i be honest for a second yeah. i don't think it was i he was doing it nonstop and it was crazy but like also I would probably do that if I met you out. I, <laughs> like, love you. I feel like I did that to school. Like I just think he was really excited about you, and he knew that you both had a small window in LA. Yeah. He wanted to make the most of it. Yeah, but the way he was talking though was like, it, it was like, it was like, how do we make this work? Like I want to make this work. Well, like, and this that's was why I think the shift is that after you guys hooked up, and he says he didn't know who you were, he Googled yeah. you, and then he got more excited, and then it became. That's where I was kind of like, okay, that's like, gross. Just calm down. Also, you're going back to Australia. Like, Literally, where is like, this gonna go? This goes nowhere. Yeah, so that's why I think all of his excitement came from that. Like, I, I want to so have too. more of a moment. With this girl who I know more about now. But, okay, but it was also, so Sunday night, I go to dinner with my publicist and two of my agents. And I told him, I was like, I have a dinner, a business dinner at 6 o'clock. Okay, I come out of that dinner, and you guys, I had 10 fucking text messages yeah, and all these much. missed calls and FaceTimes. That's why I'm like, this is insane. So I finally was like, hey, Kyle, listen, like, I, I just don't see a future here. Like, obviously, you live in Australia, and, like, I just think let's 
end this now before like we both like you know what I mean like before we're down so far and he's like he at first was like okay no like I respect that I get that which you're really good at ending things like you almost too abruptly like sometimes you send me your ending message I was like whoa girl that was harsh you do it like really really quick but then he wouldn't let it go so that and great response at first but then kept going and talking to me like nothing had happened so and kind of getting more aggressive yes and then I would have to be like Hey, Kyle, I just don't think that we should be talking. And he would go, so you want me to stop texting you? I'm like, that's exactly yeah, what yeah. that means, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> what else is it? <laughs> he goes, what? Okay, so uh, it's been a long weekend, right? Okay, I go to bed. It's Sunday night. Great, okay. I wake up Monday morning to a voice note from X at 1.30 a.m. And he goes, just got out of jail. That was a crazy day. Wow. What? Like, <laughs> what? what? That's you guys, what? you're dealing with at this point. Oh, my God. You guys, at, like, just another day. Like, totally downplaying this. Like, it's nothing. So I am, wake up, send him a voice note. I'm like, what happened? Like, did you get a DUI? Like, did you lose your license? Like, what happened? Also, what the fuck did you hit? Like, I need, to, I need more information. So he finally wakes up, and he's all... So I hit a pole and he goes, I don't even know if I have a DUI. He's like, I blew over the limit, but I don't know. I've got a court date in a few weeks. So what an embarrassing day. And I'm all, what? okay. Oh. Like the disconnect is like so unbelievable. So it's a little back and forth. And then he goes, I don't even want to send you the photos. I go, you have to send me the photos of your car. <laughs> you guys, the car is totaled. Do- totaled. You can't believe it, though. It's not like you bumped into a car. It's like you totaled your car and then left it there and then walked to the coffee shop to just sit down and have a normal coffee. Because I go, I go, you're lucky to be alive. Yeah, that car's totaled. Also, came out in the police report, he didn't hit a pole. He hit a fucking tree. Like, the whole thing is just like... Oh my god! <laughs> you guys, the car. He wanted to see you. He <laughs> wanted to. That's like when they say, "Like I'll walk through fire for you." <laughs> like you like, literally I... did. He left. <laughs> oh my! You guys, imagine seeing that someone total their car and then just get out and walk to a coffee shop. Oh. You're insane! And then the best part, he goes, "I'd still love to get coffee." I went, oh. no, I'm never going to see you ever again, so actually. There was still, oh, my gosh. It's so great. There, but there was still not, no, like, I'm mortified. No. Which is no. so weird. He was talking about how cold he was in jail and how he used the food to keep himself warm. Oh. Like, I, I like, it's like, what? The whole thing is so insane. Insane. Okay, so that's that, okay? He's not doing it. No. That's dark. That's really dark. That makes me sad. Like, we we need to get some help. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that's that. So, still, it's Monday. Um, Kyle is still a problem. He is still sending me photos, asking how my day is going. And now, at this point, you guys, I'm this is all on WhatsApp, by the way. I'm not responding. So, now he's texting me. So, now I have to block his number. But I don't block him on WhatsApp still to this day because I'm like, it's kind of entertaining almost. And just, <laughs> just to like fast forward, you guys, this is a week later. He is still still texting me photos. And he goes, did you end up furnishing your apartment, miss? Calls me miss all the time. He's crazy. He won't anymore after this. <laughs> after this, we, he'll finally leave me alone. It was fun, Kyle, but it's over. <laughs> Kyle, it's, it's fucking done. over. You're so hot. And in any other uh, situation, it might have worked, but. And he's back in Australia still texting me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now. You love a pen pal, though. I have been known to love a pen pal. <laughs> she loves to keep a conversation going. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Okay, so now it's Monday late afternoon. Who gets approved on Raya, motherfucker? <laughs> so I am like, this is my night. I'm creating my profile. I'm fucking swiping. I'm doing the damn Which thing. Which was a really big deal. And I was so pissed that I wasn't there, but we were like no. sharing the pictures. All the pictures. I was telling her, no, we need more smiles. Yes, yep. We need less sexy, yes. more sexy. Yes. Not the white bikini. Yeah, white, yeah, yeah, yeah. white bikinis are too naughty. Like, why not the white one? <laughs> you always try to go a little too sexy. I'm like, tone it back. Do you want a husband or a hookup? Well, I don't know well, oh, you, you were in that know. LA. Oh, no. yes. where you're like all about hook up actually I just want to hook up <laughs> you did say the white bikini photo you're like that's what that photo looks like something you like send your boyfriend I'm yeah. like that's probably not a bad thing okay so anyway so I get approved I'm so fucking excited right your girl is swiping who pops the fuck up but that right away. hot piece of ass and the whole reason I joined I was like oh my god match with him instantly so the guy from the bar the first night that she saw on the phone the reason I joined the, yeah. 
you immediately match with it's him on Raya right when you do it. Immediately. Right when you go on to Raya. So you guys, I am like, I am so fucking excited. Like my life is made. And that's the first 72 hours of my LA trip. <laughs> Your girl goes to bed super excited. And I am going to tell you about Raya. And I am going to tell you about this hot piece of ass because I did go on a date with him. So we're going to do that. And the way that it happens mm-hmm. is so you. The fact, I mean, you guys... <laughs> basically Monday she meets him. She gets approved on Raya. She meets this guy. And then Monday they have a date. (laughs) And not only a date, a double date. (laughs) Just threw him right in. So that was my first 72 hours in LA. Holy fucking shit. There you have it. Yeah. (laughs) It's absolutely crazy. Uh, You are a nutbag and I love it. It's so entertaining. But uh, I can't wait for you to tell the rest of that. I'm story. excited to to dish on Raya with you guys and and this hot piece of ass because it was it was and is great. So I will see you guys next <laughs> week. Is Nick Vile who I fucking love and I'm actually gonna give him credit for me making the first move, which we'll also get into later because he was the one who was like, I saw him right when I joined Raya and I was like, I'm not gonna DM someone and make the first move, and he was like, Why not? So and don't I always tell that to you? I, yeah. I like had this. Well, we could talk about that. I'm later, changing but. my tune. I think on girls making the first. Yeah, move. because yeah, it's yeah. not. You're hot. You're you can do it. I did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> she really did. I it. did it. You Our- took it too far, actually. <laughs> 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 now you're taking it too far. Let's reel it back in a little bit. <laughs> this is a whole new me. This has been a whole new world for me. I'm like, holy shit, I love Raya. All right, you guys. As always, thank you for listening. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.